Good morning students today we are going to see 1.5 the necklace extract number 1 lines 1 to 51 Now i would like to read extract loudly you have to listen very carefully The name of the story is the necklace This story is adapted from the necklace by Guy de Maupassant Part 1 Mathilde was a pretty and charming girl born as if by an error of fate into a family of clerks she had no means of becoming known understood loved or be wedded to an aristocrat and so she let herself to marry to a minor official at ministry of education She dressed plainly because she had never been able to afford anything better. She suffered endlessly, feeling she was entitled to all the luxuries of life. She suffered because of her shabby, poorly furnished house. All these things that another woman of her class would not even have noticed tormented her and made her resentful. She dreamed of a grand palatial mansion. with vast rooms and inviting smaller rooms perfumed for afternoon chats with close friends yet she had no rich dresses no jewels nothing and these were the only things she loved she wanted so much to charm to be envied to be sought after she had a rich friend a former schoolmate at the convent whom she avoided visiting because afterwards she would weep with regret despair and misery one evening her husband came home with an air of trem holding a large envelope in his hand look he said here's something for you she tore open the paper and drew out a card on which was printed the words the minister of education and may george Repano requests the pleasure of M and May Loyal's company at the ministry on the evening of Monday, January 18th. Instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped, she threw the invitation on the table resentfully and muttered, "What do you want me to do with that? And what do you expect me to wear if I go?" He hadn't thought of that. He stammered, "Why, why the dress you go to the theater in? It seems very nice to me." He stopped, stunned, distressed to see his wife crying. He stuttered, "What's the matter? Let's see, Mathilde. How much would a suitable dress cost?" She thought for a moment, computing the cost. and also wondering what amount she could ask for without an immediate refusal at last she answered hesitantly i don't know exactly but i think i could do it with 400 francs he turned a little pale because he had been saving the exact amount to buy a gun for a hunting summer in the country near nantier with a few friends however he said very well i can give you 400 francs but try and get a really beautiful dress here are given the pictures of necklace now we are going to see new words aristocrat means noble man entitled means deserving luxurious great comfort tormented tortured palatial suitable to a palace mansion large house invaded felt jealous despair hopeless dream victory resentfully showing feeling of anger or displeasure yam and may yam stands for monsieur and may stands for madam These are French terms of address. These terms are like Mr and Mrs in English. Now we are going to see important points or detailed explanation of the extract. 
The story is about a middle class woman whose ambitious wish of being a part of aristocracy led to a terrible misfortune. The Necklace Part 1 Mathilde was a pretty and charming girl, born as if by an error of fate, fate means luck, into a family of clerks. Here in this story, Mathilde is the main character. Mathilde was a pretty and charming girl. She was very beautiful and elegant girl. Pretty and charming, these are adjectives. That charming girl, born in the middle class family, in the family of the clerks. She had no means of becoming known, understood, loved or be wedded to an aristocrat. Aristocrat. Aristocrat means a member of upper class or nobility. Or another meaning is noble man or woman. She had no means to be wedded to a rich person because she was born in middle class family. So she married to a minor official at the Ministry of Education. Opposite of minor, major. She dressed plainly. Plainly means simple and without decoration because she had never afforded anything better. So she suffered endlessly. Endlessly means constantly. What is the category of this word? It is adverb. She suffered endlessly because of her poor furnished house. Because she wanted always very luxurious house like a palace. As far as my opinion is concerned that she was over ambitious girl. So she wanted everything luxurious which she could not afford. She dreamed a big house like a palace where she could chat with her friends. Plainly, endlessly, poorly. These are adverbs used in this extract. She had no rich dresses, no jewelry, nothing, but she loved these things only. Mathilde had a rich friend. The name of that friend was Madame Forestier. She was a former schoolmate at the convent, but Mathilde always wanted to avoid her because her friend Madame Forestier was rich and Mathilde was in poor condition. So, whenever she meets to her friend, she would weep with regret, despair and misery. Weep means to cry. Regret means with sorrow. Despair means disappoint. And misery means great distress. It means whenever she met to her friend, she would in distress. Because Mathilde was ashamed of her status and envied her friend Madame Forestier for all the wealth and riches that she possessed. One evening her husband brought home a party invitation from the Minister of Education. The invitation held great importance for Monsieur Loisel. However, Mathilde resented the idea of the party because she did not have a fancy dress to wear to it. Her husband suggested her the dress which she wore to go to the theatre. But she was not ready to wear that dress. Mathilde started crying, so her husband felt very disappointed and he asked her about the dress cost. So she thought for a while and she replied, 400 francs. Franc is a basic monetary unit of Switzerland and several other countries. Her husband gave her 400 francs and said, try to get a really beautiful dress. Actually, her husband had saved money to buy a gun. But instead of buying gun, he had given all the money to the Mathilde. It shows us Mathilde's husband was very kind and concerned person. Some vocabulary questions, adverbs. Which adverbs are used in the extract? Plainly, endlessly, poorly, resentfully, hesitantly, exactly. 
these adverbs are used in the extract collocations minor official palatial mansion afternoon chat close friends former schoolmate immediate refusal these collocations are used in this extract some grammar questions from the extract 1 mathilde was a pretty and charming girl identify the non finite verb and state its kind answer is charming it is present participle question number 2 she had no means of becoming known identify the sentence it is a statement sentence 3 she dressed plainly because she had never been able to afford anything better identify the clothes and state its kind answer is she dressed plainly it is main clause because she had never been able to afford anything better it is subordinate adverb clause of reason personal response question is is anyone entitled to all luxuries of life due to reasons of birth or other innate qualities i think no i feel people will respect the luxuries in life only if they work hard and earn it themselves instead of simply inheriting it from their parents or achieving it as a result of some innate qualities they have students you have to write your own opinion regarding to this question students here is given assignment for you you have to solve these all activities in your class work activity number 1 simple factual who said to whom one look here's something for you sentence number 2 i would rather not go to the party activity number 2 complex factual answer the following questions question number 1 why was mathilde married to minor official question number 2 Why did Mathilde weep with misery after visiting her schoolmate? Activity number three, vocabulary. Give the antonym of the following words: one, major; two, acceptance; three, bright. Activity number four, grammar. Sentence one: She had no rich dresses. Identify the adjective. Sentence number two: Give the noun form of the word. in writing and last activity personal response question is have you brought something for a friend or relative from your savings how was the experience in this way we have seen this extract 